Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes 14 and 15 of March Comes In Like a Lion. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 14 in 3, 2, 1, go. Let me move this up a little bit more. There we go. Now, see, what we consider that, I think, what, last week I thought I, I considered it a loss, possibly? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, shoot. I didn't know I saw that in my bra. <laughs> um, or is it, I, I don't consider it a loss now. I think it's just, like, a pause on their, can we say, no, I'm about to say battle. Match. That's what I meant. But, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Who knows what could happen? My bad. So we all still feeling some type of way about uh, Kyoko's boyfriend? Yes. 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 That man is now on my hit list of assholes that I want to beat up secretly. We're going to do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> because they're okay because someone even said it again I won't know until later on in this series but I really want to know why she's dating such an asshole like that and I, I something tells me it's daddy issues because of the way Kyoko got treated by her father and she's using that on dude but I, I don't know Excuse me. So? Okay, that's what it was. It was just like on pause. I mean, but what else can you do? Because it looks like he's clearly overtaking you. I mean, you know, <laughs> we could talk about last week, but still. Yeah, like, you're just slowly but surely drowning, and you're going to lose, and you're going to be submerged deeper and deeper into this abyss of shogi. <laughs> much berry. I know. Where do you go?
You lost, didn't you? That was it. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my freaking, not y'all, them outside, because I swear to God, oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> it's too freaking loud. Excuse me. Of course. So mm, well Then you might have won. Excuse me. No matter what, you would have lost so many times. I do like the fact that he, you know, reviewed it with him. Almost like, you know, when it's like a newbie person and when they play for the first time and they're like, oh my god, what did I do wrong to make myself lose? And in a way, they replay and show them like, okay, this is what you did, but it was actually you should have did this. But I don't know what it's going to do for his psyche and how he thinks. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my God. Baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
he's going to second guess himself probably the whole entire episode. And of course, us as youth, me being the age I am, <laughs> such, we're going to be more harder on ourselves than someone who's in their 40s or their 50s. <laughs> yeah, please, because, you know, somebody, I need Goto to literally have, you know, I need that man to lose. I need this old fucker of a man to lose. Like, oh my god. I can't imagine, like, how many lives um, Goto has probably, like, ruined, maybe. And maybe it was a good thing, good thing and maybe it was a bad. But, like, who knows? <laughs> yeah, because you have the kitty at home. Bye, Smith. It makes you wonder, especially because of our current situation in today's world, um, especially for sports and everything. I think with this sport, maybe even, I can't say the same thing for like tennis or anything, but maybe Shogi has a uh, chess. That's what I meant. What the fuck was I talking about? Um, anything else? Like, I wonder if they still like do matches and if they do, do they, are they able to live stream it? Kitty? Where is it? Hitty, hitty. <laughs> oh. So cute. <laughs> Literally me with my dog when I get home. <laughs> But Ray, oh baby, I know, I know that feeling. Everybody hates that feeling. I know. But it's not your time. As much as I would love freaking Ray to stick the, that stick up that man's ass and just feel like, mm, 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 mm. it's not time. It's coming, but not now. Also to make Kyoko to come to her mother effing senses because, whoa, oh God, child, like, are you serious? Of course. Mm. Maybe it's because you drink it too fast. Like, mm. I don't know. You make yourself even sicker.
I found a sports string with a pinch of salt. What does that do? That just sounds gross. Mm -hmm. No, babe. <laughs> no one's terrible at depression. We all get depressed. And it's okay. You just... You take it one day at a time. I, I think a lot of us, because of the world, the situation we're in right now, we're all depressed over something. And even when we hear that it's gonna get better, even though it's not, because, you know, have you read the news? I'm just saying, but... It just gets worse and worse every day. And it's just... I don't know. I, I just feel bad for people. Not only myself, but, like, everyone else in the world. Well, at least she got out of bed. It's a good thing. Also, you know, possibly making up your bed as well, you know. Oh god. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. No. No. Okay, bounce it. You got to bounce it. You you're gonna Okay, shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. You know? He forever be tried though and just seeing him play basketball makes me really want to watch that basketball anime that I never watched before hell it's on Netflix Excuse me, whoa. Because there is a bye. I mean, well, yeah. You have the like, oh my god, or baby.
he's right. I get that. I, I understand that you want to be on your own and such, as you said, but you need people to lean on, babe. You have the girls, yes, but... My mother. <laughs> oh, how fun. It might help you to get a little bit better. I mean, you, you're amazing, an amazing player, but it's okay to ask for help. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm hmm. It would be a blessing. <laughs> Short baby. Exactly. You don't want to push him. He needs to come when he's ready. And it might be soon. It might be in episode 15. When we get to episode 15. Mm-hmm. And that's what I say for, like, anybody dead ass like don't oh my god especially because there there are certain people with disabilities and some people don't like it when you push them or just like hover over them and be like da -da -da -da, you need to do this yeah yeah da -da -da -da. um i get that's like that with the job and i'm okay with that and almost anybody else would, would be okay with that but when it comes to certain things and such there are some people who aren't okay with that and sometimes they need a little bit of time before they can be like yeah I'm okay with that or something else but yeah he needs to make that first move this is going to put him in the right step because yes even though he lost and he tried he, he was depressed but he, he even said that he couldn't even do depression right but in his own way depression is different for everybody everybody works out their own ways he did do the normal of sleeping too much because a lot of us who are in, de in depression have done that i've done it um and such so i can't say, i'm not that one person who's gonna say oh i've never been depressed or something like that but because everybody has and such you may have a sad day and you may not feel good and such sometimes with depression yeah you get really really sick and such and you never know what could happen to you because of it and so sometimes you have to say enough is enough and when that comes for him and I'm guessing it has to come in 15 because come on now where else is it gonna come even him going to school and also get like not only that but him getting up Seeing Ray getting up is him, like, slowly but surely defeating his uh, depression. And it, oh, it's a cute artwork. Oh, my God. Interesting, though. Um, You have to take it day by day. And that's what he has to do. I mean, I, you know, going into this show, I kind of always uh, automatically, you know, assumed that because Ray is such a good shogi player that no matter what, he, he's kind of untouchable that no one um, 
could be able to defeat him. But after really this episode and last week's episode going into the continuation with this episode, it kind of now tells me that, yeah, he's not. Um, he could, Anyone can be defeated just like that. Someone can dethrone you in a heartbeat no matter what. So you can't really... What's the word? Um, you always have to kind of be on your toes, basically. And that's like for, that's for almost any freaking sport. I can't, can I say the same thing possibly about esports? Maybe because yes, there's always still someone better behind you and they're going to defeat you. And then yeah, you're going to be put down. You might go into a big depression because of it because you're like oh my god I was at the top and now I'm at the bottom what the fuck am I supposed to do that's the same thing with us YouTubers especially when you know YouTube fuck you YouTube um you know takes our channels for some stupid reason whether it's because oh you showed you know captions on a video even though it's backwards or you did this and you did that oh you have fake copyright checks say goodbye to your channel and then you have to start over again and again and again technically this is my second time starting over my channel so yeah who's not counting me but still I, I i get that because when i lost my first channel i was hella depressed about it i didn't want to record i i didn't want i think in that moment i didn't want to have anything to you know do with youtube that was my my everything that was the last thing that i had of my dogs because all those videos i did had like almost, not every video that i did because i went from recording in my um my first living room to my bedroom permanently and then you know of course me moving and just like that um but my dogs were always in the background, <laughs> whether they were walking in the background or they barked or something. There was always something going on in the background because of my at my house. And I have Cody and you get that. But having those videos of some little funny random thing that like somebody did, I never I will never get to have those. I'll, I'll never get to experience that again because of YouTube and YouTube is my I'd like to say my ultimate defeat for that because they're the reason why well not only that I mean it's a lot of things on why my channel my first channel got deleted but we're not going to talk about that but ultimately in the end yes YouTube was my downfall on why I had to start another channel but the best thing about it is you know yeah you get to start all over I mean no what that's really the worst part about it is starting all over and Hoping and praying that you can get back to where you were because I was so fucking close to 10,000k that I I could literally taste that ish. And to be at 4k and we're like halfway to 5k and it, it's like it's there and it's just looking at me and it's like hey you, you've been here before you can get here again. And I think going the route that I did when I started YouTube especially um when I started streaming, uh, that also helped me and such. And so I hope and pray that it might help me again. I'm not 100% sure. I know there are some people who say, no, if you just show the video, you'll be fine. And I'm like, <laughs> that doesn't always work. I'm like, you, do you really want me to start over again? Like, no, no. But yeah, I, I get it. I get how he feels because we've all been like that with anything, with something that's happened in our lives, usually if it is tragic, um, we don't want to talk to anyone. We don't want to be around anyone. We just want to be alone. We want to be left alone. We don't want to, um, I, feel like, I thought I was going to burp. I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't want to feel anymore. And sometimes you have to let people kind of go through that. But then at the same time, you have to, someone close to you has to be that one to say hey enough is enough you need to get out of bed you need to get up you need to move you can't be in bed or stuck in your room for this whole time you have to kick depression's ass and so it's just well it's one step at a time no matter what always kick depression's ass like be better be above depression and I know it's hard because it happens to all of us but be positive have people around you who care about you who love you who can cheer you up no matter what and kick its ass
at the end of the day. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 15. All right, episode 15 in three, two, one, go. So, like I said, hopefully in today's episode, he makes that first step. That's all I want for him. He needs to hang out with his face. Like, we haven't seen him hang out with him until, like, that one time when he <laughs> was over the girl's house and they ended up, like, talking about showing you. It's so cute. And then he was like, kitties. Oh, my God. Stop it. I'm going to die of feels. <laughs> oh, God. You know, if my daughter does not show up in this episode. Mm. I need Momo to show up. Momo is precious baby. We love her so much. Baby. <laughs> A child is like, oh, Oh, kids. <laughs> Making me want to have kids even though I don't think I'm ready to. Because look at her, she's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Children. So cute and adorable. Precious. Are you dreaming? Kyoko? Um. Kyoko, what the fuck is with you in these damn entrances? Like, what, uh, what the? You and what's her face's mom from working? Like, oh my god. just want someone to embrace you without embracing you. Oh, of course, she like what's her face from Happy Sugar Life. Except she don't kill anybody. That, uh, that too. Yeah. That's a lie. That, that has to be a mutsy. Right there! That must have really hurt you. Of course, I mean, it did. That's right. But that's because he's a better player than you. You're good, but you're not on his level.
Okay. But, okay. I, I get that. I get that. But still, she's still with him! Even though you left! That didn't really fix anything to me! I'm sorry! How the freak are, is you leaving making Kyoko stay? If now, right now, she's currently with him! I need an explanation, please, because, like, your girl. <laughs> your girl over here, like, what the fuck? <laughs> God, I just, I don't like him. I might never like him. Excuse me. That, I, I mean, but still, like, ugh, God, I don't know. Oh, my God. I really want to be a fly on that wall and know. Are you watching the match? Right. Oh, yeah, I'm mad. Exactly. It would possibly be better for you to see it in real time instead of on like a computer screen. It's okay. You have permission. <laughs> I mean, you could have went with him, and you could have just paid. The, it's a nice thing to do, possibly. Yeah. Jesus. <sighs> My fucking <laughs> this at Kyoko.
Yeah, but not a good idea. Okay, let me say this. <sighs> Kyoko, as much as I love her, she... Oh, God. Oh. She only does this, really, in my opinion, because she needs someone. It's not daddy issues or anything. It's because she needs someone to protect her. She wants feelings. She wants, like, not... Oh, my God. What's the damn word? <laughs> oh my god. Um, attention. She wants attention from a guy. And whether it's Ray her, himself or this motherfucker right here, <laughs> she takes it. Let's hope so, because please, I, I, I need that. <laughs> I need someone to kick this man's ass, because, like, ah. Uh. She, but she really does. She really wants attention, and she's get, she's getting it from the wrong person. Even though, yes, his wife is currently still in the hospital fighting for her life every day. It, it's the wrong person. Oh, she's so much like Nana. It's not even funny. Please let her find a right guy. I swear to God, it's all I want for her. Hell, that's like me. Oh God! Why are why are we? I'm not gonna say stupid. We ain't stupid. We smart. But why are we, as people, not only men and women, but as people, why are we sometimes attracted to the wrong person and we don't see it because we're in love with them so much? You know. They always say you're going to kiss a lot of frogs before you find your prince or your princess. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to sneeze. No one Ray, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be okay, you know. Mm-hmm. He has pretty eyes, though. I mean, blue. That's my weakness, but still. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Now I feel like I'm watching Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> I know.
Ah, oh, it's fair. I know, right? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. So? So? The, uh, uh. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> that makes sense. Almost like a little fire in your butt, basically, in your belly.
Mm-hmm. But... That one hot summer day. Because of, almost in a way, it's because of Ray, he made him better, kind of. That's what I want to know. <laughs> Look at him! Okay. Mm. It's okay. Oh. All right. So here's something that I really, really want. Okay. So you know how I was super duper happy. I'm about to burp. I know it. Um. <clears throat> excuse me. Nope. Excuse me. There we go. That we got the first half of an episode with Smith as the main character and technically we're getting that more and more. I really want an episode on Kyoko. I, especially because, girl, you know, I want to be a fly on that wall and the situations that, you know, <laughs> her and Goto get into because he, oh my god, he, I, I'm not going to say he's a fuckboy, because if he was, well, technically, you know what, he gives fuckboy tendencies, especially with the fact that he's, like, always leaving her. And I'm going to say leaving her on red. Some boys will understand what I mean. Well, boys and men will understand what I mean because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, your girl has been through that situation. And I didn't like it. It's the worst thing ever. Uh, but he, he doesn't give her any time of the day. He'll say something to her and she'll get all flustered about it. But because the fact is she's so headed and over heels in love with this man, she don't really give a shit about what the fuck he's going to do to her or say to her. She's going to think it's caring and it's not. And I feel so bad for her because that's not love. She's being used. She's being walked over and you feel so bad for her. You just want to be like, oh my God, like snap out of it. Like, No. No, like, ha! <laughs> it was like, wake the fuck up, bitch! Like, damn it! But oh my god, thank God, what's the face is rather one a match, but there's still one more. So hopefully, that is going to see how this next match, really the outcome of this tournament, because. As much as I want to write a win, because I, you know, as I said in the previous thing, I was like, yeah, he's got this. You know, he's a top, you know, a prodigy. And with prodigies, they know their stuff. But, you know, I think four prodigies, um, one wrong move and you lose. And then, like I said, that depressant hits you hard. And who knows if you can recover from it. 
it, you know? I mean, I've seen it with so many different things. I mean, oh my god. But, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea what the fuck is going to happen next week. I want to know so bad. But, <laughs> of course, I have to wait until at least today is Wednesday. So, Sun Sunday, Monday? Yeah, uh, probably Sunday because I don't think I have anything new coming out until, like, Monday, I believe. I have to check my schedule one more time before, you know, everything comes out. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not busy. And then I'll get super duper busy and I'll be like, what the fuck? But the, both episodes were good. Very emotional on their part. I'm glad that someone finally, not really stuck it to Gojo. Uh, I said Gojo. Gojo. But, <laughs> I like I said, the day when, because it's going to come. That karma is a bitch and it's going to freaking come and when it does. <sighs> when Ray defeats Gojo, that's going to be the best day of my life. And it probably is going to happen in season two. If we don't get it, but maybe let's say Goto get, feels remorse later on in the series, that's also going to be the best day of my life, especially with what he is currently doing with Kyoko. I think there's going to be a moment where he's going to realize, yeah, I should stop leading her on, call, calling her a stalker, this, this, that, and the third. Yeah, maybe Kyoko will also realize her ways and possibly get over him and move on from him because you deserve better everyone deserves better you know especially if they're in a bad relationship you if you feel like your significant other is walking over you and maybe they're telling you it's your fault that you because i did this is that and the third there's so many signs you you have to leave as much as maybe you don't want to it's best for you to go and you have to move on from that a lot of people get into once they leave that relation <laughs> that relationship sometimes even in that relationship they get super duper depressed as well and they are stuck and they don't know what to do but you sometimes have to be like the better the better the, the bigger person i cannot speak today oh my god <laughs> and and leave and i really hope that for her because i need her to be a better person because this girl this chick like oh my god but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 14 and 15 of march comes in like a lion if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next today no, next monday for everyone else and next friday for patreons for episodes 16 and 17 um, happy holidays, happy new year for people, even though by the time everyone else sees this, you know, it'll be officially January, so you know, hey, happy new year and everything, but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!